slime boy. Haven't seen you in a grog's age. How's school? Oh, it's fine. We're in break. We, we got catapulted out because of a traveler infestation. You're, you're what now? I was working as a busboy in a hotel, and uh, uh, she was sitting, drinking her coffee, and she was so beautiful. God is dead, and Americans culturally appropriating anime is what killed him. <laughs> High Guardian Spice is an affront to not only anime, but to mankind. <laughs> the clips that I have seen of this show display man-made horrors I never thought were possible. Tipping the scales of sex. I hope you're single. We'd be fantastic together. Uh, cow? Wait, Snapdragon? You, dude, why are you dressed like a girl? It is man! Mostly because this show wasn't made by men, it was made by a collection of old women and angry lesbians. Well, uh, what you're saying is very demeaning. Do you know the word demeaning? No. Now that I've ensured that this video is 100% getting demonetized, let's prepare ourselves to talk about the absolute dumpster fire that is High Guardian Spice, which can be best described as the visual equivalent of a barbed wire colonoscopy. Wow, fun! <laughs> but we're going to be doing more than just laughing at a few clips from a god-awful knockoff anime. We're going to be checking out a few tweets from one of the writers from the show, and let me tell you right now, viewer, they're spicy. Before we get into the video, if you want to support me and the content that I create, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you already aren't. And if you want to be a super mega alpha male, alpha female, I don't care, share this video around. And for those of you who are already upset with me for making fun of this absolute dumpster fire, don't forget to hit the dislike button because I'll take all the engagement that I can get. Oh god. Maybe that's what High Guardian Spice was going for. Are they farming hate clicks? Am I just unpaid advertising for this flaming pile of AIDS? Oh god. Now it's very important for you to know, this show is incredibly diverse. So absolutely diverse that it had a writing room composed of completely women. We are 50% female in all the creative roles, and our writer's room is 100% female. I mean, this is what my whole career has been about. You failed! Because nothing says diversity like having all of one gender in the writing room. But hey, you know, diversity basically just means no men, especially no white men. You can't have any of them. I mean, if you even have just one, good luck getting a critic score on Rotten Tomatoes above 50%. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Crunchyroll has been getting absolutely roasted with the release of High Guardian Spice, and for good reason. Now, if you don't know what High Guardian Spice is, I didn't know what it was either. It was originally a webcomic, and Crunchyroll apparently found out about it, and they said to themselves, Hey, you know who absolutely loves woke pandering nonsense? Anime fans. <laughs> and you know who really loves being pandered to in ham-fisted ways? Well, the gay community. So with this genius idea, Crunchyroll sprang into action. Is it sprang? Is it spr sprung? It sprang into action, whatever. Instead of using money to buy a license to stream real anime, you know, a popular series perhaps, they decided to fund this half-assed woke American trash. And how bad is it, I hear you ask? Well, viewer, here's a little preview. Parasphere to do anything I want. Oh, it's it's all in the wrist of your brain. I have to demonstrate it a lot at the store. Here, here, hold on. I'll draw you a diagram. While you do that, Sage, can I talk? I think it's my turn. <laughs> a 
Allow me to introduce this writing genius, Kate Leff. This professional writer has made quite a name for herself online. Not because she's worked on beloved series or is a talented writer, but because she's mentally deranged, which seems to be one of the prerequisites for working in the American entertainment industry these days. The checklist includes things like suffering from a mental illness rooted in deep childhood trauma, neon dyed hair or a shaved head, and of course, lacking a single creative bone in your body. And I'm willing to wager that Kate here checks all three of those boxes. She passed that test with flying colors. Let's get serious for a moment here. Kate suffers from a very serious condition. And it's sadly one that affects many NPCs online. It's like a computer virus that was just uploaded into the mainframe and sent out to all of these bots. And sadly, Kate suffers from it as well. It's called I Hate the Men Syndrome. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something and the symptoms often include things like insanely tweeting about wanting to own a shirt that reads kill all men because that's absolutely normal. Imagine this shirt said anything else, replace men with women or God forbid with a race. This video helped my entire channel would be nuked from orbit. The FBI would be at my door right now. Don't worry though, her unhinged hatred of men doesn't just end here. How about these tweets? Here's a question for today. Why are men so gross? And then the second tweet. We're trying to decide on a slogan for 2015. Torn between why not and nothing's weird. But my vote's still for kill all men, haha. <laughs> I added the haha -ha part. Sorry, I, I don't want to be blamed for misquoting her. I mean, God forbid I made her sound crazy or something. Now, she's clearly trying to be funny here, but I mean, she's a woman, so... Of course she's not funny. But seriously, Kate is comedy gold. I mean, how on earth could you read something like this and not almost pass out from laughing? Kate said, every time I'm angry, I just yell, the patriarchy, and I'm usually right, to be honest. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, for the love of God, how does one not instantly conjure up images of that woman screaming no back from 2016 when Trump got elected? I know people love to roast the conservatives for using such an old clip to own the libtards, but can you really blame them when you have people like Kate who are essentially the same person? She embodies that video so much. It is too perfect. This woman is like a walking parody of a feminist. I'd like to just hone in on two more tweets before I show you some clips from this god-awful show. I know, I'm trying to save you here, viewer. I'm trying to hold back the cosmic horrors that await us. It's like that scene in the Mouth of Madness when the monsters are about to breach the door. I'm just trying to help. I guess that would make Kate like Sutter Kane in this analogy. I don't know. Now I know you are desperate, thirsting for knowledge when it comes to Kate's love life. Let's go ahead and take a look at that tweet. Did I date a married man? Yep. Did he die of colon cancer? Yeah. Like, what? What? Why? Why? Like, I know I and others make jokes about things giving you ass cancer, but did dating Kate actually give this man ass cancer? Feminism. Not even once. God rest that man's soul. Now this last one, it's like a fortune cookie. It's going to leave you confused, befuddled, searching for the true meaning behind the text until the answer finally comes to you, but only when it's too late. When you're on your deathbed, you will finally understand just what the fuck Kate was talking about here. Watching old men hit on young female bartenders, waitstaff, makes me want to throw up swords directly into their spleens. 
Now, to be fair to the show, we don't really know how much of Kate's writing is to blame for the absolutely pathetic excuse for animation that this show is. But what I can tell you is that anime fans are pissed. High Guardian Spice is getting absolutely ravaged in the reviews. At the time of recording this video, it's at a 1.4 out of 5. You know, this is really just one of those, you know, you love it or hate it situations. Just so happens that a lot more people hate it because there is a lot of people with brains and actual taste. Let's go ahead and read some of the reviews. Waste of time, nothing special. I'm new to Crunchyroll, I didn't know that there was a rage against this, so I just watched the first three episodes, gave it a fighting chance, and there's no chance I would watch a fourth one. Do yourself a favor and don't watch this show. The dialogue and voice acting is so laughably bad and heinous at best, and the plot is the same. The power of friendship cliche that's already been overused. And my favorite review, I'm a proud gay man, but this is the type of content that makes me really worry about the future of LGBT characters in media. From grade school level animation, design, color, direction, and script, everything makes me feel like I'm being insulted, as this could be seen as progressive to some. All I'm trying to say is that the representation feels more ham-fisted than my ass after prom night. God damn. I saw them with a double-sided deal, though, with their ass smashed together. Surely it can't be that bad, right? These people have to be wrong. There is no way that Crunchyroll of all companies would get something so wrong, right? Danger is like a flock of birds. It swoops all into your business when you least expect it. First of all, this show looks like it belongs on Cartoon Network. The style is as bland, stock, standard, and generic as they come. It is mind-blowing to me that anybody can look at this and distinguish it from any other show that's on Cartoon Network. What makes this unique? Spoiler alert, nothing. And why does it sound like it was written for babies? Now I understand that the group of people that this show is trying to appeal to are what you could probably call emotionally stunted. The same group of people that cried when Steve from Blue's Clues said that he never forgot about you, but come on. Adults deserve to be treated and talked to as adults. I feel like they deserve better, but I guess the target audience for this show will just take any garbage that's thrown at them and be happy about it. And that point is made so clear by this trans character and how they were written. Totally inseparable. This was our first everything hours, dorks. Mom looks so fierce in the uniform. Is, is that your sister? It's me, actually. You are a girl? <laughs> I'm transgender. I don't know that word. I was born into a female body, but it wasn't the right body for me. So I used new magic to change it. Cool! You can do that? Oh, with God, you Levioso! Stop! Like, what is this? You have this world in which people that don't know transsexual people exist? Clearly, this pink-haired midget is supposed to be a fish out of water, you know, a vessel for the audience to experience this new and magical land, but really? Yes, trans person, please explain and justify your existence to me. Isn't this the same shit the LGBTQ community gets so mad at people over? And it's pretty funny, actually, when you look on Twitter, there is a lot of arguing going around. It's like an alphabet crew civil war. And before anybody accuses me of transphobia, just go ahead and shut up, because I have no issue with a character being trans. It's when they're so poorly written and clearly exist merely for the sake of brownie points, like this character so clearly does. And if you still want to scream, but it's representation, then maybe consider raising your standards when it comes to the kind of representation that you want to see because my god is this awful.
And now we've come to my absolute favorite. When I saw this clip, I knew I had to do a video about this. And of course, I'm referring to the slime boy, who I've so lovingly dubbed as Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, uh, you know, it's the same slime and then boy. Why do they call you that? I got caught with ink legs in, in my dorm once. You know inkles? They're um, slimy. <laughs> What a story, Mark. What in the absolute hell is this? I mean, where do I even start? The writing is awful, but by now that shouldn't really be a surprise. But the voice acting, my God, it is so bad. You can hardly tell what this guy's trying to say. It sounds like he recorded his lines with a towel over his mouth while trapped in the trunk of a car. Like, maybe that's how the show's producer got people to be involved in this project. They just kidnapped them, and they're holding them at gunpoint, and they're like, now say the fucking lines. I, there's no other explanation. I don't get it. Like, this is bad. Really bad. And it goes well beyond the whole, well, this just wasn't made for me, or people like me. It's just hard to watch. I mean, as one Crunchyroll review said, it's painful to watch, and that's not an overstatement, and I've only seen these clips. I can't bring myself to watch any more. If these clips are anything to go by, I have no idea how somebody could watch more than one full episode of this show without ending up in a psych ward right next to Kate and the rest of the cast for this show, who I guarantee you are undoubtedly going to need years of therapy to undo the damage to their psyches and to their egos that being involved in a project like this caused. I really don't think this show is going to last more than one season. Like 12 episodes? 12 whole episodes of this? It's too much to ask. Like I get some people like pain, they like to be tortured, you know, they're on the little on the kinky side and by some people I might mean me, but this is too much. What's the safe word, damn it? I can't take it, I'm out. The only way I see this going a second season is if Crunchyroll is absolutely taken over, overrun by the woke crowd and they're like, well guess what you alt-right weebs, we're going to use even more of your money to fund a second season and then they maniacally laugh. Seriously, if you are subscribed to Crunchyroll, consider canceling the subscription. They have proven to us time and time again they don't care about Japanese animation studios. They don't care about giving us quality content because look at what they're giving us now. If this is what they deem to be acceptable entertainment, they do not deserve our money. And that's what I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. As always, I want to know what you think about all of this. Let me know. Are you a veteran of High Guardian Spice whatever the fuck? Have you survived? If you've seen the show, I'm curious. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And for those of you who haven't seen it, let me know. Do you plan on watching it? I'm curious. I want to know who the real masochists out there are. If you like the video, be sure to drop a like, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so and share this video around. You guys liking, commenting, subscribing, all of the engagement helps this channel so much, and I really appreciate all of you because this channel has been doing extremely well the past couple of weeks, and I look forward to growing it even further with your help. Before we go, I want to give a massive shout out to all of my badass channel members. You guys are awesome. If you want to join this elite legion of grill gamers, I don't know, just hit the join button down below where this video is playing. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, stay metal, and I will see you in the next video.